What's up everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. Not a ton of information to share here, but I decided to go ahead and do a video still, you know, just for the sake of consistency. Since I started doing the weekly videos, I've only missed one, and that's because there wasn't enough information after Thanksgiving. But yeah, I like to be as consistent as possible, and I know that a lot of you do appreciate that. I'm not going to do a short version of this video um, because, like I said, not a ton of information. But then on top of that, I, I started doing the short videos to be accommodating to a certain portion of my audience. But I still get complaints from people and, you know, I've had to block people that try to get ugly for no good reason. If I'm doing extra work and losing ad revenue and it's not appreciated, then I'm not going to do that extra work. That's basically what it comes down to. So, and, um, you know, people complaining about me doing commentary, like they say they don't want to watch the full commentary video. Oh, well, if you don't have the time, then you don't have the time. Just don't watch at all. But I'm going to do my commentary. I'm going to do my full length videos regardless because that's what makes it fun for me. I'm not just a machine that puts out information. This really started, Funko News started from me just talking about things that I'm hyped about seeing and then it slowly developed into a Funko News video, you know, what it is today. So I gotta be able to say what makes me excited and you know, what, what I'm happy about and what's up and coming. Um, otherwise, even though I like to help the community, you know, like I said, I'm not gonna be a machine that just pumps out information because if it's not fun, then I'd be done with this. And, and if I stop having fun with it, then I will walk away from this, you know. But and yeah, I'm sorry to address that negativity, but I just had to put it out there and let people know if you don't see the short videos, it's not that I'm stopping Funko News, you know, not yet. I am continuing with it. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm not seeing enough appreciation with those short videos, even though I'm losing ad revenue over that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the news that I do have this year for this edition, which is recorded on the December 9th, 2017. So we're going to start off like usual focusing on what is available in the wild. At this point, the bombshell figures wave two. It seems like they're all pretty much um, available. The only one I'm not 100% sure about is the Barnes & Noble exclusive Supergirl. If anybody has seen that, please let me know down in the comments. But uh, yeah, the other ones have shown up, including the Catwoman chase figure. I know a couple of people have found that. Um, the Excuse me, the BAM exclusive uh, Catwoman, which is sepia tone. The Hot Topic exclusive uh sepia tone hawk girl which actually is available online and then uh, wonder woman which is michael's first exclusive that is remember the holiday theme wonder woman which I, I do plan i gotta keep that in mind when i go out hunting again to try to look for that one but yeah the bombshells way too like i said they're out there look for them if you are interested and if anybody has seen the paint jobs on these let me know whether or not they're solid that's why i skipped on the first wave just because the paint jobs just they weren't good you know i even skipped out on harley quinn which is unusual for me but i just did not like the paint jobs so let me know how they turned out this time also with riverdale i know some people have already said you did not see riverdale show up at your stores but they have started to show up in certain areas on the west coast so just be patient you know um they do kind of roll out slowly as far as you know pop figures are concerned and um on the west coast people have found jughead jones which is a hot topic exclusive and then Cheryl Blossom, which is a first to market exclusive for Hot Topic. So bear in mind, after about a month's time or so, um, the Riverdale figures, they will be, you know, widespread, not just at Hot Topic. And um, yeah, thank you to everybody that did confirm that to me. I just wanted confirmation about that red sticker and exactly what it meant. Um, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Uh, Shraddles is available on Hot Topics website. I don't think I've seen any of the other new ones yet, you know, you know beyond the specialty series figures because Man of Ar Man at Arms, excuse me, and Trap Jaw have been available for a while. But there are other He-Man and the Masters of the Universe figures on the way that I shared previously. But the only one that I've, I keep seeing is Shraddles. So if you've seen any of the others, please make sure that you share down in the comments. Um, the Box Lunch Exclusive 11, her and her punk outfit, holding the box of egos that is showing up in box lunch stores um and i don't think it's been online yet you know uh, if anybody's seen it online let me know but i don't think it has appeared there yet and if i get a link to it um then i will you know update that down in the description um stitch the diamond exclusive which is a hot topic exclusive of course that one is starting to show up in hot topics as well so remember if you don't see certain figures in your area yet just be patient because funko doesn't drop all across the country at one time it usually doesn't work that way even during conventions sometimes it doesn't quite work out like that 
So some figures that are available in store and yet also online and I am going to provide links here and if I forget a link I mean you'll know what store it is so you can go to the website and check it out but I will try to remember to put all the links down below. So I'm um, starting off with Box Lunch, the Organization 13 Mickey and Zero with Bone. Both of those are available at the time of this recording and they actually have low in the dark chase variants so I could imagine those selling out again pretty quickly but if they sell out just come back to the site keep checking because you know more than likely eventually they will they will get listed again. The Gold Shinron is actually back up on Hot Topics website. That's another one if it sells out again just keep going back to the site because it probably will get listed again. You know um Hawk Girl, I already mentioned her previously, the Hot Topic exclusive, but I am going to provide a link for the sepia tone Hawk Girl as well. And, you know, from this image, of course, I think it looks pretty cool. Toys R Us has a couple of exclusives online, including their exclusive Crash Bandicoot, which I think uh, he has a rocket pack on there. A little bit from the sister location, of course, Five Nights at Freddy's um, associated there is back up. And then the Mickey and Minnie Mouse uh, two-pack is available as well. And then Walmart does have the Trash Compactor Escape movie moments from Star Wars. If you watch my video um, ranking stores that sell Funko Pops, then you know that um, you got to be careful with shipping, basically. So Toys R Us and Walmart especially, I'm not, you know, I cannot come close to vouching for their shipping. But if you cannot find these items in stores, then you might want to consider it. And if you've had good experiences, you know, with the stores in your area, then you can go for it. But yeah, like I said, I am not going to vouch for their shipping at all. Just be cautious about that. But Hot Topic seems pretty solid. And, you know, from what people tell me, Box Lunch seems pretty solid as well. So getting to Funko Shop's 12 Days of Christmas, which has been kind of all the hype lately. Um, at the time of this recording, I know, of course, Psycho Santa is sold out. And I want to say the other ones here are still available. I'm not 100% sure about Wonder Woman, but I feel like I saw her still listed. You know, somebody can clarify that for me. But um, yeah, so I, this has really not changed. This is pretty much the same as I shared last time. So let's move on here. Um, of course, the Silver Mr. Monopoly sold out, also the Santa Freddy plush, and then the other ones that have been released since the last video, the Black and White Grinch, which, you know, he does have the red Santa outfit, of course, the Flock Tricks Rabbit, and then the Huckleberry Hound Hikari, all of these have sold out. Now, I really feel like there was some funny business with the uh, Flock Tricks Rabbit because I did try to get that one, and I waited nearly three hours in that queue, and it was so not that way with Psycho Santa. Everything moved very smoothly. If you watched Funko News last week, you know that I gave big props to Funko's new queuing system, but I really feel like something funny kind of happened there because that wait was way too long, and then when it was time for me to check out, the site just completely froze up on my phone like it would not let me do anything so yeah I really feel like there was some funny business and I hate it for Funko that I, I feel like Funko is trying to do their part and give everybody a fair shot but you know some people are going to be the way that they are and just keep interfering so yeah it's annoying but it happens and I'm not really sweating that I missed out on that figure because like I always tell you all you can't have it all you cannot have it all so I'm okay that I missed out on it but I really do hope that you know, Funko can work some things out where this doesn't keep becoming an issue where true collectors keep running into these issues because of flippers. And no, I don't consider flippers to be true collectors. I don't care if anybody gets mad about that, you know, because I look at collecting as a community thing. So anybody that's getting in the way of that, I don't consider you to be a true collector. That's just my opinion. So Funko Shop's 12 Days of Christmas again has some more on the way, of course, because not all the days are done yet. Um, so... There is three days left from the time of this recording, so this is going to be one of the items, um, this holiday edition of the Batmobile, the old school Batmobile, and um, it seems like they just keep doing variants of this, you know, trying to get it to sell, and this one is limited to 1,500 pieces, so who knows, even though it might have, a, I think, a $50 price tag, it might actually sell out for them. We'll see what happens there, but... um. I think the last two days have the potential to be pop figures because I feel like the last two days are both listed now at $15. Funko did do a little bit of reshuffling with the calendar, you know, so we'll see what happens there. And of course, I have to address this because I know a lot of people are talking about it right now, whether or not there's any validity to this. So there's been rumors floating around of a flocked holiday Tony the Tiger. And on this image was shared on social media. And if you look here on the left hand side, you see on the Funko Shop sticker that it has the word fake. Now, it could be that this is a fake and somebody just did this sort of like a prank. 
but then there's also the, the potential that this is a real figure but maybe somebody wants people to think that it's fake you know because of course if this pans out to be true we know that it's really going to jam up the Funko Shop's um, site you know so we'll see what happens I mean I could continue to speculate but we'll find out in a couple of days whether or not this is legit or not you know whether or not there actually is this figure and it's only 1000 pieces which would be pretty insane I mean the original um, Tony the Tiger already goes for a, like a, a average of almost $200 which is ridiculous you know I would never pay that much for a figure but um you know like I said we'll find out pretty soon here whether or not this is legit and definitely share your own opinions down below so hello neighbor I think has finally had the, a full release after being in like um, early access for so long um, I, I want to say that it is fully released now because I feel like um Jacksepticeye might have a video up relating to it I know he's been playing that game and I notice every time that I watch him play it it seems like the game had some bugs and things and sometimes even game breaking bugs so hopefully with the final release everything is straightened out you know but um as far as these uh, this t-shirt and these figures are concerned these are on FYE's website I will put a link for that down below uh, with the pop tee do make sure if you're going to pre-order and do remember these are for pre-order right now if you go for that tee do make sure that you choose the one that is your size and then they do have the common neighbor pop figure and then they have their own exclusive up for pre-order which is the neighbor wearing the apron and holding the cleaver so some random bits of news here starting off here in the bottom left you see that there's two versions of Kratos, the one that has already been revealed for the upcoming game, and then Kratos there wearing some gold armor. That one could be a store exclusive, we'll, you know, we'll see what happens there, but this is um, one that was cited at a PlayStation event this weekend. And then um, the Queen of, Hort, Queen, excuse me, Queen of Hearts is getting a Dorbs, um, so don't know what, any idea about the release for these, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, Avengers Infinity War is of course that's going to be a big line for Funko and it seems like it could include a pop ride so go ahead and start speculating about what that ride could be you know maybe it'll be related to Thanos who knows I mean a Thanos pop ride would be pretty insane but you know we'll, we'll see what happens um, and I mean insane in the best way you know so we'll see what happens there so Rick and Morty I think I shared this a, a good while back but you know just giving a reminder here because some people are talking about it okay Rick and Morty is getting some dwarves including Snowball you know and I'm not sure what other characters they're going for I, I want to say I've seen it listed before as uh, Rick and Morty of course and I want to say the me seeks might be getting one as well which um I could see picking up some of those because I do like dwarves enough you know and I do like Rick and Morty a lot so we'll see what happens um, and then the upcoming Netflix movie bright starring Will Smith could be getting some pop figures as well and by the way you kind of notice here I'm saying could be because I don't see the actual images here and I'm not doing a separate rumor mill since there's not a ton of information to share this time but um that movie I believe releases on Netflix on December 22nd I, I watched the trailer I really like the trailer it looks like a mix between training day and Pan's Labyrinth almost you know that's the best way I could describe it if you haven't seen the trailer definitely check it out I think it has you know a potential to be a very cool movie and I definitely will watch it as soon as it releases so the Walking Dead, I've been talking about these figures for a while and still don't have the solid images, you know, the final product, but at least we do have some concept art here and then a couple of protos as well. And protos are definitely a good sign that a figure is, you know, legit and it's on the way. But you see here that um, we're getting Ezekiel, uh, a clean shaven Negan, uh, Richard, they're all geared up and everything. Eugene holding a jar of pickles, which I think is pretty cool that that's the way to decide to do it, um, you know, design him. I really do like that. And then Sasha, of course, with her rifle and her gear on and everything. And um, I, before I forget, I want to put this out there real quick. If anybody's watching the current season, let me know whether or not it's worth it for me to jump back into it because I watched all of all of the walking dead up through season seven but lately i just haven't been interested in getting into the latest season i don't know it's just maybe it's something about season seven that kind of just left me cold but if you're watching it you know let me know your thoughts about it without giving spoilers of course and i hope that anybody that's a big fan of the walking dead is caught up through season seven because one of these pops does give a spoiler here and that is the zombie sasha which is potentially a chase figure and you see her there at the top of the screen the proto of it so um 
yeah, that, that'd be pretty interesting. This is actually um, an idea I had in one of my videos, something I would like to see Funko do. So I think it's very cool that that is potent potentially happening, you know, and possibly as a chase figure. That's cool. Even if I can't get my hands on it, I still think that's, you know, would be pretty cool to see. And then uh, Shiva, I know a lot of people want to see Shiva as a pop figure. That rumor has been floating around and it's still floating around. You know, we'll see what happens there because there's such fan demand for that. I would imagine it is going to happen, but of course, nothing is certain until we actually see it for sure. So more mini Hikaris are released. I uh, shared previously the purple and green um, Joker mini Hikaris, but now they have this black and white two pack, which is e even more limited. It's just 1,000 pieces, and like I said, it's you know it's available right now. You can uh, go to Entertainment Earth and see if they still have it available, and maybe some other retailers online will have it as well. But Entertainment Earth, I know, have had it listed for sure. So, okay, so you know, if you want that, definitely make sure you jump on it because 1,000 is a pretty small number. Bendy in the ink machine. I had to come back to this just because, uh, you know, we got this image here on the right which shows these store exclusives. Don't know where all of these are going to be right now. Let me say that again because I know how hyped some people are about these. I don't know where the others will be right now. But Bendy with Wrench, I've shared that previously that he's going to be a GameStop exclusive. And you can actually go in store and pre-order it right now, which I would go ahead and jump on that. Um, right now on with GameStop, I think they have them listed as a December 15th release, which is very close. But, uh, you know, Funko has basically been saying that these other figures would be out early next year. So I don't know what's going on with the actual release. You know, we'll find out soon enough. And for new collectors, because I know people have been asking me in the comments, Funko doesn't always have, you know, very firm release dates. So you got to be kind of flexible and patient as a collector. So Monster Hunter... Um, has some figures on the way here again for early next year. You'd see a February release. Okay, so they have a hunter, of course, and they have a feline, which I'm going to assume is like an assistant type character. And then they got these uh, monsters here down at the bottom, which uh, I can't remember whether or not Funko stated that these would be six inch figures. I sure hope so. Um, you know, and I'll try to look back at that detail. If they are six inch figures, then I will make sure I update that here on the screen. But um, yeah, I really do like the designs, I like the colors. And by the way, um, the beta of this game is going on right now on PlayStation 4. I know I need to uh, check that out myself. And if you've already played it uh, for Monster Hunter World, if you've already played it, um, let me know what you think about it because it looks pretty awesome in, in the trailers and everything and the gameplay that I've seen. And like I said, I'm going to try to jump into it myself, uh, hopefully tomorrow. But yeah, that's going to do it for Funko News. Like I said, not a ton of information this time, but as always, I hope that you got something out of it. Um, you know, I'm sorry that I had to start the video off with a little bit of negativity there, but you know, I just got to say how I feel basically because um, I like to do Funko News. I like to help people out, but at the same time, I definitely like to share my opinions about everything. You know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a machine just pumping out information and, um, you know, hopefully, uh, I won't have certain issues with certain types of people too much because um, I, I, don't, I don't get any joy out of blocking people, but I will do what I have to basically to keep things as positive as I can on my channel. So, you know, hopefully the work I'm putting in is appreciated. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like on it. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you do subscribe because remember I do uh, Funko News videos on average twice a week so be on the lookout for them and of course there's a lot more content going on as well if you haven't already done so do make sure you check out that video um, where I ranked the stores that sell Funko Pops you know the major retailers I put that video up um, uh, just yesterday I think yeah just yesterday from the time of this recording you know for some people it might be two days ago but uh, yeah if you didn't check that out check it out it's a definitely an interesting video and I really did put a lot of work into it and a lot of people shared their thoughts for the survey so yeah, check that out if you haven't already done so. But yeah, that's going to do it for now, and I will talk to you all again real soon.